Yo, what up guys? NJ Bike Life here. And uh, I don't know why I'm screaming. I'm just I'm really frustrated that my dirt bike is jacked up and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm just kind of venting out some garbage. But I figured I'd do a little a vlog about my current time in life. This mirror is really making me upset. It was just fine. And I think when I put my cover on, it like got all jacked up. And now it's not fine. And I can't see. This used to be the mirror that I could creep with who's behind me. And now I can't see who's behind me out of it. And I'm not too happy about it. Now it's just way too far in. Anyway, uh, hold on. You guys are gonna have to wait till I fix this. I can see my elbow on there and more than my elbow on here. It's too much. Still too much. Okay, that should be good. So, as I was starting, <coughs> so as I was starting to say, my dirt bike's broke. I don't know why. For some reason, it just won't start. I washed it and it just won't start. Yo, this is my friend Anthony. He's on a Ninja 650. What? I'm vlogging. Just letting people know that you're Anthony, you're on a 650. <laughs> so, he just got his license, uh, no, he doesn't even have his license, he just got his permit, like last week, so, trying to get him out on the bike as much as possible. He'll just be following me, we'll be going into Jackson and probably doing some county line. But, um, yeah, the dirt bike, for some reason, I, I replaced the battery, I replaced the spark plug, I turned off the FMF tuner, I turned it back on, it didn't do shit. So, I don't know what could be wrong with it. I talked to the, the dealership to try and find out what's the issue. And, um, yeah, for some reason, they don't really know, so I gotta bring it in for a Diag. It's 142 bucks or something like that, but if I do the service there, I end up getting that money off of the bill, which is cool, so. I think I might do that. But the guy was saying, I was telling him, the service guy, I don't know how much he knows about bikes, but I was telling him, I washed the bike, I put a new battery in it, brand new, 130 cold crank amps battery, the YTZ7S. I put a new spark plug in it, still no issue, or still the same problem. I um, turned off the FMF programmer to thinking maybe like there was a letting left fuel in. Still the same issue. So I, I don't I don't know what the problem could be. He was thinking that the valves might be too tight. The dirt bike's got 15,500 miles, so he's thinking the valves might be too tight and it's causing an issue as far as uh, all, all that goes. So I'll bring it there. He said it's about two hours to do the valves. I'll bring it there and see what happens. Um, on another note, this bike has been working just fine since I got it. Um, back from the recall. So, at least I still have this bike, but it's just really frustrating that the dirt bike hasn't been working. I um, am looking for ways to expand the GoPro channel. Right, not the GoPro channel, the YouTube channel. So I'm thinking maybe like additional videos per week, but I know once it gets cold, it's gonna be kind of hard to to keep that up. So I have to really think about that and think about the commitments it would take. I've been thinking about the meetup, but every time I try to get a date, it seems like it doesn't really work for everyone. So I gotta get a a solid date for the meet out that's it's gonna happen before the end of the year that's for sure and then so 
sorry, I'm just paying attention to Anthony back there because he's new and the car was coming up on his left and he didn't have the the know-all to go into the left lane so that the car doesn't have a choice but to stop behind him. So I was just making sure everything was good. That car was really close to driving right into me. Um, that that that's another thing on my mind. New, you know, two videos a week and maybe doing like a series, like a spam card Saturday series, series or like Pokemon Go Mondays or you know just something like that, just to switch it up and kind of get some interaction with you guys in in play. And then um, also thinking of my two buddies that got into accidents on their motorcycle it's kind of got me like on edge so I got them on my mind three of them got seriously injured one broken wrist or one fractured fractured wrist and one broken collarbone a couple bruises and things like that so well, thankfully it was it was no serious injuries but it's still just a constant reminder about what's out there on the road and the motorcycles aren't invisible we're preview to the same accidents that all the cars get into and we're, we're even more prone to them just because of our low visibility so that was on my mind um then i've just been working a lot i i i, I really urge you guys to follow me on snapchat or follow me on instagram because I upload a lot of pictures on both of them. I upload, you know, uh, a lot of different content on there, and I, I like to have, you know, ongoing conversations with riders. I'm always, always down to ride with different riders. So, if you are, you know, if you are local to me, I'm in Monmouth Ocean County, right on the border. If you are local to me, just let me know and. And I'm always down to me. I'm not too far from a lot of places. Uh, just recently, I went to ride with uh, the, my, my buddy Knights to the End, and he's all the way out in Bridgewater. It's like an hour ride. So, me and Ed went up there. We actually rode with with Knights to the End. So, you know, you just gotta, just you know, I'm trying to up the interaction that we could all have here on this channel, just to make it a little bit more enjoyable for myself. I mean, I have fun because I, I ride and talking to myself all the time anyway. So, if you add me talking to myself and somehow you guys talking back, I'm always excited for something like that. So, I said so a lot in this video, and um, I like saying so because I don't like saying I'm a lot, but I end up saying things like, like, and so and. And then, then, I just have a lot of run-on sentences when I'm talking, but whatever. Um, another thing, if you guys are going to Capamoros, uh meet up. I'm going to try and either meet at Honda Day, where I think I think it's Honda Day, or some some day at uh, English Town uh, Racetrack. I'm, I'm going to try and meet up there. If I can't do that... Uh, I might meet up with you guys on the road or something, so we'll, we'll see exactly what goes down. I'm looking at a couple merchandising aspects to NJ Bike Life as a channel and as a brand. So right now I'm working closely um, with key tags, the little fabric key tags that like Baker X Dickhead has and a couple of the other subscribers have, or the YouTubers have. I'm working on some key tags. They'd be like $7.99 for, for a key tag and it'll say like NJ Bike Life on it or maybe have like an emblem or you know just something that yeah, I could either hand out to you guys or you could purchase so I'm working together with that. I'm trying to put together a sticker line so that I can hand out stickers or you guys can purchase them if you want to put them on your bikes or on your wall and whatnot. Or I can send them out if I ever get, you know, fans and stuff. I'm also looking to do, uh, obviously not reservoir covers because I don't, I don't have a cool reservoir cover like the rest of the cool guys out there. But I got this cool flat, this cool metal one, so I don't really have to do anything to it. But uh, 
yeah, just maybe a t-shirt or, you know, anything like that. If you guys are interested in stuff like that and have any experience on selling things like that or making things like that, just let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely interested in, in seeing them and better branding the name NJ Bike Life for all the riders that claim it. He, he stops all the way back there like, like, dude. Dude, how are we supposed to talk if you're so far? What? How are we supposed to talk if you're so far? We're supposed to talk and reminisce about our days at lights. I feel like I'm in a stall here. No, nah, you're not. <laughs> but just make sure you go quick enough so that you don't get cut off. Okay. Or slow enough so that you don't get cut off. I'm not gonna delay. Nah. See, he didn't stall. He said he was gonna stall. I educated him on. Make sure he goes quick enough so that car in the white didn't end up coming into his lane and crashing into him or trying to merge with him there. So, I don't know why he's going so far back. He's also staying like all the way in the same lane as me. Then again, we're not three or more, so he doesn't have to ride staggered, but he's getting the hang of it. He's definitely doing a lot better. And it, like I said, he's only been riding for a week, so. He's doing really well, in, in my opinion. I figured I'd take him out on these long straightaway roads. It's supposed to rain. It doesn't look that rainy out, but it is supposed to rain sometime today. But I ain't too worried about it. Are you guys worried? Because I'm not worried. Um, just want to give a shout out to my buddy John. John, congrats on the new Ranger. Congrats on doing a million things to it right off the bat. And uh, congrats on finally getting that check engine light off. I hope it stays off. One can only dream. And yeah, I think that's just about all that I got for this video, guys. Um, please make sure to comment, you know, have some interaction with me. I'm always down to, to talk and discuss anything, even if it's not pertaining to this video. I respond to all the comments that come to my channel. They go right to my phone, so I answer them quick. And like it, share it with your friends. Follow me, definitely follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. There's one more thing that I have. It's not Twitter. Um, oh, and, and YouTube, obviously. Those are all my business cards. That's why I say that. But yeah, just make sure you follow me, guys, and interact. You know, I'm always down to talk. So. That's a good time across the street. And it takes a sweet ass time. That's a good way to end the video. Guys, I'll see you later. As a tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle, the tribe knows not what it will see. These nuts, these nuts. All right, later dudes.